Hey Reads, welcome back to our channel, Salamat 2020 and your presenter, Irwin Aragon and for today's video lessons on mathematics reviewer about percentage and this is ideal for the let listen short examination for teachers CS and civil service examination university and other college in entrance examinations and math related examinations meron tayong problem sets here with easy to understand explanations para maging confident in solving problems this is our problem set number three number one twelve point five percent of thirty is what number a three point seventy five b three point five c three point twenty five d four point seventy five so ang given percentage natin dito is twelve point five percent so we're going to change this percent to decimal so ito yung rule natin na uh, move the decimal point two places to the left. Yan, i-move lang natin pakaliwa. One, two. Then drop the percent, percent sign. So tanggalin natin itong percent sign. So the equivalent here is 0. 0.125. The operations to be used here is multiplications. So the word of here it refers to the multiplication or times thirty. So point one two five times thirteen that is three point seventy five. So that is the result of twelve point five percent of thirty. So the answer is A three point seventy five. Number two, what percent of one hundred fifty pesos is seven pesos and fifty cents? A 50%, B 5%, C 10%, D 25%. So we are asking here a what percent of 150 pesos to get the 7 pesos and 50 cents. So we let this uh, variable R be a percent and the operations to be used here is multiplications. So the representations of R multiplied by 150 pesos that is equivalently to 7 uh, pesos and 50 cents para makuha natin yung r divide both side by 150 then cancel 150 bring down the r percent then 7.50 divide 150 that is 0.05 then we're going to change this uh, result this is decimal to percent then we have this uh, rule for changing the decimal to percent, uh, move two places to the right. So from this point, one, two, then the value of percent is five. Then add the percent sign, so that is five percent. So meron din tayong pamaraan uh, since the percent is uh, for ibig sabihin ng percent is for every hundred. Okay, we multiply lang natin ng 0 0.05 ng 100, that is 5, then add the percent sign, that is 5%. The answer is B. For number 3, student population in a certain barangay high school is composed of 2,300 females and 1,900 males. What percent of the population are males? A, 54.76%. B 45.76% C 45.24% D 54.24% So we have here the solution the total population that is equivalently to females and males So the female search 2300 plus the males is 1900 then get the sum that is 4,200 so we're asking him what percent of the population are males so we have here the male percent then 1,900 divide the total population that is 4,200 then get the quotient that is 0 0.4524 multiplied by 100 para sa ating percent or you can use the procedure move two places to the right from this point one two that is 45.24 then add the percent sign that is 45.24 percent that is letter c 
Number four, a fifteen percent of one hundred fifty is what percent of thirty percent of three thousand pesos? A two point five percent, B twenty five percent, C zero point zero two five percent, D one point five percent. So ito yung ating solution. So first, uh, get the fifteen percent of one hundred fifty, then change this percent to decimal so the roll is uh, move two places to the left yan uh, then this is equivalently to point 0.15 then multiplied by 150 then we get 22 and 50 cents so we have the 22 pieces and 50 cents is this is equivalently to equal then what percent so we let the variable r times the 30 percent of 3,000 pesos then again uh, change this uh, percent to decimal so no two places to the left pakaliwa tayo to change this into the decimal okay from this point one two that is equivalently to point thirty multiplied by 3,000 pesos that is uh, 900 pesos so this time we have these uh, equations to find the percent then bring down the r percent multiply by 900 pesos that is equal to 22 pesos and 50 centavos then divide both side by 900 then cancel the 900 bring down the r percent that's 22.50 divide 900 that is 0 0.025 since we are asking for the percent then we can uh, move two places to the right to then changing to decimal to percent yan ang ating role pakanan tayo for the percent that is 2.5 then add the percent sign then you can use also the definition of percent for every hundred to multiply by 100 that is 2.5 percent so the answer is a 2.5 percent number five arnold borrowed 10,000 pesos from the bank at the rate of 13 percent per year how much will he owe the bank after a year a 12,000 pesos B. 11,000 pesos C. 11,400 pesos D. 11,300 pesos So, ito yung ating uh, principal which is the amount borrowed by Arnel that is 10,000 pesos and the rate usually written in 3% form so, ang given natin dito is 13% and the time that is 1 year So, as he borrowed 10,000 pesos so, kailangan natin uh, malaman yung tubo after a year so we can formulate the formula here principal multiplied by rate and time so substitute natin ang principal here 10,000 pesos and the rate so kailangan natin i-convert into decimal move to places to the left then 0 0.13 multiplied by 1 year so get a product that would be uh, 1,300 pesos ang kanyang toho the interest then amount you after a year Kasama yung principal, then add the interest. So, principal is 10,000 and the interest is 1,300. Then, get the sum that would be uh, 11,300 pesos. For your activity, uh, number one, how much should a man uh, deposit in a bank at 8% interest if he wants to gain 1,600 pesos in a year? So, hint natin to, you can use the simple interest, I uh, is equal to PRT to find the principal okay number two what's the total sales if for a 15 percent rate of commissions an agent gets 10,500 pesos and you may share your answers on the comment sections below